I'm the youngest brother. My name is Donald. Well, I'm the oldest brother. My name is Herbert. Hmm. And naturally, I'm in the middle. My name is Harry. We are now celebrating our 56th consecutive year in this business. Sure. Yes, this doesn't happen to everybody. And you, you are the ones who have made it possible. Thank you very much. After almost 60 years in the business, how can you stand each other? <laughs> it's very simple. It's a very simple question, and it's not a rude question at all. The reason why we get along so well together is because we work together, but we don't live together. We all live separately. We talk to one another. He lives in Las Vegas. Harry and I live in Los Angeles. It may be a week or two weeks before we see one another. I always like to see them. Because uh, by me living in Las Vegas, I don't see them that much. Only when we're working. But it's always nice to see them. We have a style uh, called or described as the barbershop singing style. Yes. Was that, in fact, the thing you started with? Well, actually, no. We, we started singing barbershop because our father at one time had a barbershop quartet. They were called the Four Kings of Harmony. And this is where we learned barbershop harmony from them. But actually, we used to, we used to do a lot of barbershop singing, yes. But uh, not necessarily just the barbershop. Basically, as you, know, you asked about barbershop quartet, it's what is called four-part harmony which is bass, baritone, lead, and tenor. It's your four-part harmony. And Earl Quartet's is called Barbershop Harmony. It's the original idea. And that is our first teaching, four-part harmony. You see, originally, we were four brothers. Our eldest brother sang bass. I sing baritone. Donald sings the lead, and Herbert sings tenor. And we still sing the three-part harmony today, right to this day. That's basically our harmony. And we sang in the church choirs and things like that. That's how, actually how we got started. Mother and father taught us our voice, harmony, and everything like that. We started in the business, actually, we formed the group when I was seven years old. But we've been in the business professionally for 56 years, since I was 10. And that's going back to 1925. Actually, the Four Boys Kazoo came by, came quite by accident. We were trying to uh, emulate the sounds of, of musical instruments, so that's when we picked up the kazoos and started using them as instruments. We were working on stage one night, and my brother Harry reached in his pocket for his kazoo and couldn't find it. It was lost by me, matter of fact, on the stage, and I cupped my hands over my mouth but to try to make the sound of that little tin horn. But a better sound came from my throat as a trumpet sound. And lo and behold, a new sound was born. The audience response was wonderful, it was great. And I developed a trumpet sound, he developed a trumpet sound, he developed a trumpet and trombone, and we developed a whole band sound. My other brother, who sang bass, began to sound like a tuba. My oldest brother, John, I always had a tremendous admiration for him because he taught me everything I ever knew. And I can always see him today with a ukulele in his hand. And there he inspired me all the way. He took sick in Paris. We flew back to London and back to the United States. But he was, he was sick quite a long time in England. My, my brother and I stayed over there. Harry came back with her mother. We stayed over and brought him back to the United States. And uh, then uh, later on, he had to go back into the hospital. We had pneumonia. And uh, then we went back to England again in, 1930, in 1935, 
latter part of 1935. And I think actually what happened, he started back to work too soon. He took sick again in England. So we brought him back and he passed away in January of 1936. Right to this day, as far as my, all of my brothers are concerned, I try to follow in his footsteps right to this day. I always think that I can do more for my other two brothers today than any of us. And that at that time we decided, well, maybe it's about time we gave up, you know? And our mother took us in the room and set us down and said, look, your brother wouldn't like that. So we continued going on. Then we started looking for a bass singer because my brother sang bass and played guitar. And we actually, we interviewed, I imagine, about 15, 15 or 16 different people. And none of them seemed to fit. So one day, my father walked in while we were rehearsing and he said, everybody out, I'm taking over. And that's when he joined us. And at that time, we were looking for a guitar player and a fellow by the name of Freddie Green, who was with Count Basie Band, sent Norman Brown down to, inter to uh, have an interview with us. And the only thing we asked him to do was play the introduction to the theme song. He played it so well, he said, well, you got the job. And he's, he started with the same time my father did. Harry had diabetes. My brother Harry started losing his sight around 1967. Gradually, he lost all his parochial vision. And uh, we had to actually lead him around. As a matter of fact, my son, Alan, used to travel with us and he used to take care of him all the time. But when you put him on stage and get him to that microphone, there was no way you could tell he was actually blind because he moved in and out of it just like he'd been doing it for the rest of his life, you know? And it was a wonderful thing to see because he had such a personality and he would go to that microphone and he'd start talking and start singing and his charisma was something to behold. After Harry began to lose his sight, and yeah, he, Harry held up wonderfully well for a person that he was blind for all practical purposes for a number of years, but they got him on and off the stage with his help by putting him, putting him in the middle. He put his hand on, on Donald's shoulder and, and Herb was behind Harry and they'd go bouncing onto the stage like three young guys. Actually, we last, the last date we did was in 1981. We went to Denmark and come back from Denmark and we, the last engagement we had was in Atlantic City. And we came back to California and he passed away in January of, 80, of 80, 82. We decided, well, let's take a rest. <laughs> 